everything is okay right here. Hey guys, we're in my new place. This is gonna be my first video in my new place. And yeah, so I opened up my window, so we are using natural lighting right now. Hopefully it looks okay. And I also literally just scared myself. I opened the window and I looked at it and I was like, huh. Okay, I'm gonna record this get ready with me and there's a balcony right there My neighbor's gonna come outside and look through my window and then I realized that's my balcony. I Don't know why I'm being such a ditz today, but I am so hopefully the quality looks pretty good because I know when I film with natural lighting it looks decent so Yes, and a lot of people keep asking me where do I get my contacts from I get my contacts from pinky paradise um, these are the ones that are from Pinky Paradise. I also have some gray ones, but they look really, really unnatural, so I don't wear them. So, let's do some makeup! I already put on my Laneige BB Cushion because you guys already know I like to put that on first before doing a get ready with me because it does take some time to dry and I don't want to like just sit here and like wait and waste memory on my camera and stuff. So, yeah, I just used the one in the color medium. I think I need to go to the next one which I think is like dark or something because this one is starting to get too light for my face because I've been tanning a lot you probably can't tell and look at all these cuts like I don't know if you can see like a hole in my face can you see the hole in my face like right there my cat scratched my face and she scratched my chest and I have more going down but I'm not gonna go that far and pull my shirt down I have all these cuts because my cat is like afraid like this is her first night staying here like I've been here but this is her first night staying here and she's been like freaking out and it's so annoying so what I'm gonna do right now is put some bronzer on so I don't look so pale and look I found my Kurt Cobain shirt I was like tweeting I can't find any of my Nirvana shirts I was getting pissed you guys like if you look back there like right all over there's a big bunch of clothes that I just threw everywhere and then right here clothes everywhere because I was looking for this shirt and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and this brush from IT Cosmetics and just put a little bit of bronzer on my face so I don't look super pale because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having pale skin. Nothing wrong with that at all. But me personally, I like to have a little bit of color to my skin, you know? Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna pull a little bit here and a little bit there. Yes. And... Yeah, I'm trying to think of something to talk about with you guys because I know you guys ask me questions all the time Whenever I do get ready with me and I plan on like answering them in the next get ready with me But then I forget so I can't I can't think of the questions that you guys asked me like I forgot but just If you guys can't tell I'm in a very good mood right now I have to go to the doctor in a few hours for reasons. I'm not going to talk about but yeah, look at my hair. Can you guys see how my hair is getting lighter? Like, I don't know, if you've been on my channel for a while, most of you are new because my channel did spike. Like, it grew all of a sudden. But if you've been on my channel, you know that my hair was, um, using Nika Beauty Primer, my hair was brown and then it went to like a darkish, like, it went to like a blonde. It was like an ombre kind of thing going on. And I went back and I had them or I had my stylist Chantel go over my hair with a dark dye so I think she dyed it 1B but now it's like fading she told me it was gonna fade because she said no matter what if you dye like blonde hair black it's gonna fade over time and I live in Arizona so the sun will naturally lighten your hair no matter what so my hair is like dark brown and then it's like light brown not light brown but like more of a chocolate brown on the ends which I don't mind because it looks like a more natural ombre I guess um, but I'm just trying to give my hair a break. I'm not gonna- I'm trying so hard. This is my goal for a year. And by a year, I mean, like, for the rest of 2015, not to dye my hair. And to hopefully get my hair out to right there so I could cut it all the way back up there again. Which makes no sense to most people. They're like, why are you trying to cut it just to, you know, or why are you growing it just to cut it again? It's because I want this all to be healthy hair because I am going to dye my hair lilac. That is my goal. I've wanted to do that forever but I have just been too scared to. So I'm using this um, Revealed 2 palette and I'm gonna put the highlighter color all over, ah, all over my eye and then I'm gonna put the gold on my eyelid and put a little bit of the brown or black in my crease. I don't know, we'll see. I just wanted to show you guys so I can just continue talking and not have to like show every color, you know? 
So yeah, but I really want to dye my hair lilac. I already have the plan on going and getting my nose pierced. And I know my parents aren't going to like that. I mean, it's not like they can tell me not to. But <laughs> um, I know they're going to be like, eh. Because like my parents, growing up, they never like let me do anything with like piercing my face. Like I know a lot of parents like let their kids get their nose pierced. Let them get their eyebrows pierced, their lips, whatever. Uh, growing up, I wanted to get my lip pierced. I wanted to get my nose pierced. I wanted to do all these things, but I was not allowed. So, I don't want to get my lip pierced anymore. Um, I don't want to get my eyebrows pierced or anything. I want to get my nose pierced so I can put a hoop on there. I don't want to get a septum. I wanted to get a septum for a second, and then I realized, nah, I don't want to. I'll probably look like a bull if I do that, because I have a really square head. And sometimes when I look in the mirror, I think, wow, I kind of look like a bull. So I don't want to emphasize that even more, you know? So yeah, I took this quiz on Facebook last night, and yes, I went on Facebook. <laughs> I don't even use Facebook anymore, but, okay. There's this teacher I had my sophomore year. <sighs> he was a swim coach too. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, I was in love with this teacher. Like, I was that student who would be like, I walk into his classroom every single day and compliment him about something. I'm like, oh, that's a nice jacket, or, oh, that's a nice um, pair of shoes you got on, or I'd be like, oh, you got a haircut, and he'd be like, oh, you noticed? No one else noticed. I'm like, yeah, it looks good. We go, like, oh, thank you, Vanessa. Like, I was that freaking kiss butt student, but I only did that because I thought the teacher was fine, and he had muscles, and I don't know, but at the end of the year, even though, like, I struggled in his class, like, I struggled in that class, but at the end of the year, he gave me the class award for most improved student. <laughs> and I was like, but I didn't improve at all. So that just made me fall in love with the teacher even more. And I was on Facebook because I was talking with my friend who was over about him, and I was like, I'm gonna add him on Facebook. <laughs> so I requested it, and he added me last night, and I was like, let me get at my teacher real quick. <laughs> and he's like, adjunct faculty at my school which means like he works there sometimes so I was like oh maybe I'll run into him at the college now but yeah I thought that was pretty funny that I went on Facebook just to try to find my teacher from sophomore year and he added me back so I was like hey okay though hey awesome and I'm just putting brown eyeliner from NYX under my eyes just to make my bottom lashes look thicker because they're pretty thin down there. Pretty thin down there, up here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so yeah. Ugh. My teacher added me back. My ex teacher, okay? He's not my teacher anymore. I was telling my friend, I was like, let me just like send him a message and put like, I'm 18 now. Dot, dot, dot. I'm just kidding. So I'm on episode 12 of Orange is the New Black. I'm almost done. Um, pretty sad. The reason I haven't finished the season is because I don't want it to end. I've been holding off on watching the last episode, so yeah, I will eventually watch it, and I'm using the Sephora Classic line. Um, I'll eventually watch it, probably tonight or tomorrow, but before I watch it, I need to find a new show to watch. Oh, I messed up my eyeliner! This does not happen to me! I need to find a new show, so recommend a show, please. I still watch anime. So if you have any good animes that you recommend, then let me know. Every time I do my eyeliner, I start like slowing down with my speech because I'm trying to focus and not mess up. And I never go this slow with my eyeliner, but it's running low, so I have to be careful so it doesn't like flick or like mess up somehow. This wing needs to be extended more. But yeah, I need to find some new shows to watch. I was on Netflix and I was laughing because I guess there's this new show with Jeanette McCurdy, the one who played Sam on iCarly. And she looks so dumb, like, <laughs> her brown hair, I'm like, ew, like, I saw the, like, little square, like, when you're going through all, like, the movies and titles and stuff, and I saw her go, like, with her brown hair, and I was like, that looks so much like a wig. I'm not watching the show, like, you should have took a better cover photo for the show. You look ugly, I'm not watching the show, it's your fault. That's how it works on YouTube also, like, if you put, like, a thumbnail of you going, like, or something like moving and it's all like faded, then no one's gonna wanna watch that. So you have to like try with your thumbnails, so no one's gonna want it. That's why Netflix needs to like try more, I guess. Okay, now that we have that, I wanna try another mascara, but I already have my Tarte one open and I hate opening more than one mascara at the same time. 
But I really, you know what, I'm just going to open this one. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sucks Mascara. I've already used this before, and I love it. I wonder if my neighbors can hear me, like... If you're in an apartment, are the walls like so thin that your neighbors can hear you? Because I'd be singing in here like, ah, like screaming and stuff, and I wonder if they get annoyed. And a lot of you guys are like, geez, Vanessa, you bounce topic to topic. That's how my brain works, you guys. That's how it just, it works. Like, I bounce topic to topic. I'll be going on about this, and then I'll fly over to this, and I'll fly to this. That's just how my brain works. I don't know why, but that's how it is. I'm so glad I have Wi-Fi in here now. So I could finally upload videos for you guys from Mikasa and not have to worry about like, oh, maybe I have to go to the library to upload a video. Or maybe I have to go to my parents' house to use their Wi-Fi and upload a video. I finally got my own. And I got bills. If you're thinking of moving out, <laughs> girl, boy, whoever's watching this, you better be ready. Because if, if you find rent, like, okay, I know in California rent is really expensive. That's why a lot of people move to Arizona. Over here, you could find a luxury apartment for like nine or nine hundred to a thousand dollars a month, um, and you could find one with all your utilities paid for five hundred. But that's gonna be in the hood, and it's not gonna be in a good area. So I don't recommend it unless you grew up in the hood and you know how to deal with the hood. I never grew up in the hood, so I don't know how to deal with the hood. So I'd probably say something and get shot. So I wasn't gonna risk saving money and going down there. So I'm over here, <laughs> and I thought, okay, I have rent. Of course I'll have us. Oh, I'm gonna have like a water bill, electricity bill, whatever. And then like I found out how much those bills were gonna cost and I was like, oh okay. So when you decide to move out, you better make sure you got the money for it. That's why when you move out, like any apartment complex is gonna say this. They're either gonna say you need to have double and a half or triple. And that means like if your apartment's seven hundred dollars a month, you need to be making at least $1,700 a month, which sounds outrageous for like a 17 or 8, not 17 year old, like an 18, 19, 20 year old just trying to move out. Like, who makes almost $2,000 a month? Not the typical person unless they have a full time, decent paying job, you know? So that's why a lot of people get roommates, but I don't need a roommate because I'm doing just fine on my own and I don't trust people. I have very, very bad trust issues and I always have. So, um,. I wouldn't trust anybody staying in the same apartment with me because I'd be scared they would touch my stuff or they would bring people in and I wouldn't be there when they would bring those people in and maybe those people would touch my stuff or try to steal from me because I have all this camera equipment and it's like you don't know. I'm going to do my eyebrows now because I keep looking in the viewfinder and looking at them and I also need to put something on my lips because it is uh, it is just ruining everything. Oh I got eyebrow powder. Have you ever heard that song? Does your chain hang long? I just thought of it. I kind of want to find somebody who specializes in eyebrows though. Like I know there's a lot of those in like LA and stuff or in Scottsdale, but I don't really know if I want to go all the way to Scottsdale just for someone to look at my eyebrows. How has your summer been so far, you guys? Let me know in the comments below. What's the best thing that you've done this summer so far? Have you gone to any water parks? Have you gone to Disneyland? Have you done anything super special? I really want to go to Disneyland. Growing up, I didn't get to go. <laughs> Um, I mean, we didn't really ask my parents, like, can we go to Disney? Can we go? Like, we didn't beg them, and we weren't really, like, super Disney kids. I kind of want to go to Disneyland now, so I think I'm going to save my money for that. Also, <laughs> I'm saving my money to go to Europe next summer. Like, I already decided. My next paycheck, which is... Wait, I heard something. My next paycheck, which is, like, next week, half of it is going to go towards that. I'm saving my money because I really, really, really want to go to Europe. Like, Germany is the main country I want to go to. And I've been saying that since, like, I first started my channel. Like, I'm always talking about, like, where do you want to go, Vanessa? Where would you want to go? Germany. Like, I want to go to Germany so bad. I want to eat all their food and their culture and just everything. Um, I think I'm just going to do a neutral lip today. Or maybe just some lip gloss. I mean... Why not just do some simple lip gloss? I had my new... <gasps> what is this? Ooh. So let's see. Oh. Ew. Oh. Oh my. Oh. My lip literally blends in to the rest of my face right now. Oh my gosh. What happened? Where'd my lip go? Eh, eh. Ew. So, let's add a little bit of pink on there. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. I'm gonna put this Buxom Lips lip gloss on and it's in the color Tanya. 
and it's supposed to make your lips plump but I don't notice that and it tastes like peppermint so I like that a lot okay I'm not liking how this looks at all I'm wiping it off I'm, I can't deal with this I'm gonna go get my lipstick I need my nude lipstick I will be right back back a Maybelline it's in the color lust for blush and this is one of my go-to lipsticks so let's take off this lip gloss so it looks all like smeared because I took it to work yesterday and I tried to put it on and it melted outside or it melted in the heat from outside so it looks all weird now. It's supposed to be matte so I assume it's gonna mattify sometime soon I feel like I'm forgetting something oh yeah I didn't put blush on so I'll just put a tiny bit just, just a dab You guys like my ringtone? It's my mom. This is Tarte's Fearless Amazonian Clay Blush. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. My stomach really hurts. I need to eat, so I need to finish this makeup. I need some food. Okay, so this is the makeup for today. This is the final result. I keep getting asked through Snapchat, through Twitter, do more get ready with me. So I was like, okay, I'll do one now so yeah my stomach really hurts i'm so hungry i'm gonna go eat something and then i'm probably gonna come back and sit down and film something because oh wow it's already at 117. okay i'm gonna like yeah eat something and then i'm going to sit down and film something for like five or ten minutes and then yeah i have a haul to do but i left two of the items at my other house so i'm going to Go get those, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this wasn't too boring. Outfit of the day. Bracelets from Venice Beach from a year ago. Rubber band in case my hair gets puffy. Because my hair is dirty, but I put dry shampoo in it. I only wash my hair once a week, and it still annoys me. Like, I wish I could wash my hair once a month. And then my t-shirt is this Kurt Cobain shirt. It's supposed to look all like ruggedy or something. I don't know. But I got this from Forever 21, which I was so surprised to find. And then I'm just wearing shorts because really I don't care right now. I'm going to the doctor, so I'm not going to try to look cute. And really I haven't been caring about my appearance or my style that much for the past few days. Because I've been like so busy and just trying to be comfortable and stuff. So I should probably start trying again, right? No. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for 100 and... Hold on, let's check. Thank you for 137,095 subscribers. My goal now is not a thing. I decided I'm not even gonna have a goal anymore, honestly. It's if people want to subscribe, subscribe. I am happy where I'm at right now. I'm happy. I was happy when I hit 100,000. So if nobody else subscribes to my channel, I'm totally fine with that. Like, how much I have now is beyond what I thought I would ever get out on my channel. So, no more goals. Whatever happens, happens. So, thanks for watching. Join to become a member of the Franco family because everyone's accepted and loved here. And I'll see you guys later. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter in the description below. And yeah, bye guys. Mwah.